Kansai PJ checking in. This is hopefully a quick update. Now, I often say that, but I'm going to try to make it really succinct. Uh, a couple of interesting things are happening to me these days. First of all, I am on break from work. Uh, as uh, administrator, I have uh, <clears throat> duties to do, so I go in uh, several times a week. But otherwise, I have off, so I'm getting her out and having some fun. Um, first thing up is last night, I uh, taught a special private lesson uh, with this wonderful English teacher that I know, and she has her own Ikaiwa. And at the end of the lesson, as is usual, she takes me out to dinner with her family. They're really friendly, and I like them a lot. We went to a fugu restaurant, which fugu is a blowfish. Um, and they serve fugu in many different ways. And um, I like fugu, especially uh, sashimi style. But two interesting things that I had that I wanted to share with you. One, I had fugu fin nihonshu. That's fugu uh, sake with the pieces of the fugu fin inside the sake. Kind of like the worm still in the tequila. Um, the taste was good, but I I had to keep screen you know drinking through my teeth so I didn't swallow uh, scales or whatever it is on the outside, uh, not scales but skin. Yeah, okay. But the, the but the sake the nihonshu was itself was delicious. And the second thing I ate, and I gotta tell you, this is interesting. Fugu testicles. Raw. First of all, I didn't even know fish had testicles. Now, I guess, you know, they have to have te testicles, right? And male fish, anyway. But they're just inside. I don't know. In any case, um, they were raw fugu testes. Um, raw, but then put in, uh, warmed in a cheese gratin. Oh, my God. And surprisingly, it tasted very... It tasted good, but rich disturbingly so you could you know i tell you thank god i had uh, sake to wash it down um other than that the meal was quite good um or, or quite regular uh if you haven't had fugu i really recommend it uh it's delicious fish um, what else is new in my life <clears throat> i uh recently went to a co anime cosplay festival um as most of my regular viewers know i'm not particularly into anime nor cosplay. Um, however, um, one of my student, former students, she just graduated, uh, Anyi, is really into that world, and not just as a fan of animation, but she helps design and make costumes for cosplay companies. She work has worked in maid cafes. Um, she's very integrated both professionally and personally into the anime otaku world. And um, I am a bit of an otaku and when it comes to computers or Galactica, things like that. But this world I know, I know very little bit about. And it is a strange and unusual world, but I, I really respect people who go their own way. Even if it's not my way, I respect that people do what they want to do. So I've always been interested in seeing it in detail. So she took me and my uh, friend Mario to uh, the Nippon Bashi Street Festa which is kind of like a, a casual parade of uh, cosplay uh, dressers and their fans. And then later on in the evening, we went to an anime idol concert. Now, I can't show you the concert itself because uh, I, I couldn't have filmed the performances. But I took small clips of the uh, audience doing the otage dance and... Um, uh, and rehearsals as well for the performance. And again, it is a strange and unusual world. I don't pretend to uh, that it's my thing at all, but I was really impressed. People, you know, I'm this tall guy, Gene. I'm not dressed up at all. I was in a leather coat. But, you know, because everyone feels out of place in a way, everyone treated everyone nicely. Nobody stared at me because I was a guy, Gene. Um, I really felt welcome there. And uh, above all, I was really proud of Anya to see how professional and adult she can be. Um, so thank you, Anyi, for taking us. And in the next upcoming week, I'm going to put up two videos. The first video will be of the Street Festa, and the second video will be excerpts of the concert and the rehearsals. So stay tuned for that. I hope to have that second video up a few days after the first, but no promises because I'm going to get busy here in the next week or two.
But we'll see. I'll try. Lastly, I wanted to end on a uh, whiskey review. Oh, that's good stuff. Today I am reviewing uh, Wathen's Single Berry, Kentu Single Berry, Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Um, single Barrel Bourbons always tend to be very unique because they come from a single barrel. No duh. But um, this one is a really. This is out there. I, for the most part, I like it, but it's like no bourbon I've ever tasted. Um, it's. Uh, I don't know too much about this. I've never seen it before. Uh, it's a small, limited bottling. Um, it wasn't cheap, but um, it's not ludicrously expensive. So check it out. I'm going to give this one a 91 or a 92 out of 100. Um, it's tough for me to tell you what notes I'm getting because it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated for a bourbon, but I like it. I'm going to do a follow-up review, hopefully, in the future. Lastly, I just wanted to say that Galactica ended last weekend, and uh, I did a mini... It's not a critique, because I'm, bl I'm blushing like a bride, but I did a, uh, a mini blog about the end of Galactica on my other channel, Naniwa PJ. So if you're at all interested in Galactica, please check out my Naniwa PJ uh, video blog. For those of my friends and students that are still on on the show somewhere between season three and four, I decided to put it on the Naniwa PJ channel. That way, if you're not at the end of the show, you I, I didn't want to talk about the finale. Because in Japan, we're still watching the beginning of season three. I've been uh, getting it from iTunes in the U.S., so I'm ahead of season. But for my ex-students and my friends, uh, don't watch my review if you haven't... Uh, finish the series. It was not an ending I expected, but truly I was impressed. And on the third watching in the last 24 hours, I like it more and more. Uh, that's it for now. Kansai PJ signing out. Have a great spring, people. Love is in the air. <laughs>